In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus MgI2. This is silver nitrate and this is magnesium iodide. The first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I can see I have two iodine atoms here and just one here. Let's put a two as our coefficient. Now I have two silvers. Looks like we need to put a two in front of the AgNO3. We have two silvers, those are balanced. Two nitrates here, two nitrates here, that's good. And then a magnesium and a magnesium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble. AQ, it's gonna split apart into its ions. Iodide atoms, also very soluble if you have this iodine here with the exception of silver iodide. When you see silver, be careful. Often it's insoluble. So AGI is gonna be insoluble. That means it'll be a solid. These will react, it'll be a solid, fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. Nitrates, we said, very soluble. So put an AQ here, that'll dissolve and dissociate. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Silver is always one plus, and then the nitrate ion is gonna be one minus, the whole thing. Two silver ions, and I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. Two of these nitrate ions here, NO3 minus, and then magnesium on the periodic tables in group two, two plus, and then iodine, group 17, that's gonna be one minus. So we have Mg2 plus, the magnesium ion, and then we have two of the iodide ions, two I minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. We're just gonna keep them together. Two AGI, that's silver iodide, that'll stay together. It's a solid. And then magnesium, we said two plus and minus for the nitrate. Mg2 plus, just like the reactants, plus we have two nitrates, again, just like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. If I look at the reactants in the products, in the reactants, I have two nitrate ions. In the products, I also have two nitrate ions. Those are spectator ions. Get rid of those. I have this magnesium two plus ion here and in the products. So I can cross that out as well, spectator ions. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus MgI2. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this silver nitrate and magnesium iodide. Since we have two in front of each substance, we can get rid of that, reduce that down to one, and we don't write the one by convention. You'll see the charge is conserved. We have a plus and a minus, that gives us a net charge of zero. Over here on the product side, this is neutral, net charge of zero. So charge is balanced. The atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus MgI2. Thanks for watching.